one. Let's go. <laughs> that is the noise I've been waiting four years to hear again. And there she goes. Looks like he's gonna cry. <laughs> I, could I think this could have topped Pandora as my favourite theme park area. It is incredible here. Yo, what is going on, guys? My name is Jack Silkstone. You join me on a very, very exciting day because for the first time in over a year, myself and the boys have made a trip into Europe to a very exciting place, Fantasia Land. As I said, today I'm joined by the boys. We've got RGDs here. The main character. <laughs> here we are at Fantasia Land Resort. We've here. got Kieran. We're back in business, boys. <laughs> and we've got the Arch Nemesis. What are we saying? How are we? Oh, yes. Yeah. So, myself, Kieran, and Archie came to Fantasia Land for the first time pretty much four years on the dot. Um, Arch Nemesis has down. never, ever been here. Words cannot describe <laughs> the excitement. It's been a long time in the making. I'm very happy to be here. So we're going to be getting his first reaction to rides like Taron. I mean, that's the main one, isn't it? Taron. But all of us are going to be getting on fly for the very first time and kind of stepping into Rookburg for the first time as well. That has been one of the most anticipated rides of my life. It was being built when we first came here four years ago and today we're finally going to be getting on it. But first of all, we've just come in. We've had our um, COVID vaccinations checked at the entrance. All good. And we're now heading to um, Klugheim to get on Taron. about to see it. He hasn't even seen it like properly. Oh. It's very hidden. Very and here it is, baby. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> it's not even running, so you can't even hear it yet. And just to confirm, this right here is my number one roller coaster in the world. I hope, after getting back on it today, it remains as number one. For the rock work, man. <laughs> the rock work is silly. Oh my goodness. So yeah, it's going to be an absolutely fantastic day. Nems just taking it all in, baby. <laughs> oh yes. So we are now in the Taran Q line and they've just sent the first train of the day. It's going around. It's so hard to follow in this area. But there we go. Here we go, oh, it's coming around. It. Boys, it's coming around. It's coming to the Ready pit. for this beautiful second launch. Are we saying them? No words, no words. Here we go. Oh my God. Let's go. <laughs> that is the noise I've been waiting four years to hear again. And there she goes. <laughs> hey. <laughs> that what? noise is so loud. <laughs> so it, that second brave. launch is honestly incredible. Oh my God. We got about 20 minutes to go, I think now, before we can get on this beautiful ride. Oh yes, and thankfully we're quite close to the front. The queue line literally oh, starts boys. just down there. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, another one's coming. There we go, round two. They're really sending them out now. So we are just about approaching the station for Tarrant. So the next time, I speak to you guys. We all would have had our first ride of the day on the beautiful Taran. It's going to be emotional. I think that's going to be tears, boys. We've got our fingers crossed for a back row. First row, absolutely take that as well. Oh. But oh boy. It's been exciting. years, bro. I've been waiting years to ride this. I can't wait. Is it going to be Nem's new number one? Oh, that's high. That's high. Big pressure. Big There's a lot pressure. of hype for this ride. You guys better be right about this thing. You guys better be right. Right, here we go for our first ride of the day on Taran. Oh, yes. So we have just come off of Taran, 
and we've reached the exact spot where four years ago I said that this was my number one coaster and I can confirm it still takes my number one spot. What a fantastic ride. The two RGs managed to get a front row as well. What are you saying? It was beautiful. You know, I, I still can't get over like how many years it's been, like how peng that ride is. Like, I'm, I'm scared that like, maybe I was wrong about Soldier. This could still be my number one because that was oh, beautiful. Oh, I'm thinking the same thing. I don't know where I'm at. My head's scrambled. I've lost my voice. That was beautiful. And the review we've all been waiting for. <laughs> Oh mate, it's so good to have ridden it, finally, it feels amazing, that ride is special. <laughs> second launch is, yeah it does live up to the hype, that second launch is ridiculous. My legs have gone jelly, like, I, like, I actually can't walk, I'm like, Whoa. Honestly. I loved it, like absolutely, definitely in the top five, just don't know where. Yeah, like, we, we need so another cool. ride on that, later on in the day, exactly. you back really row. Tell from first, from yeah, the first yeah. ride, but wow, like, just sit on the front row seeing everything just flash past you. Amazing. Fantastic. Amazing. I sat on the left and felt that waterfall as we went through that oh, second same. launch. Yeah, I saw you get splashed right? Yeah, I'm What fine. a fantastic ride. The theming and... Oh, words can't describe this ride. Um, and yeah, that was just our first ride of the day. We've got so much more to do here at Fantasia Land today. So we're gonna head to our second ride now. So we've made our way onto the main street of Fantasialand and we're now stepping into the brand new area, Rookburg. None of us have experienced this area or the main ride fly. Oh my god, I'm very, very excited for this. As I said at the start of the vlog, we saw this coaster being built four years ago. We saw a little bit of yeah. red track in 2017. And ever since, we've all been watching the construction and we're finally stepping oh, into Rookburg. What seems to be one of the most immersive theme park areas in the world. I've stepped into an advert. And look at it. Wow. So yeah, this is a prototype ride as well. It's a Vacoma flying coaster launched as well. The world's first launched flying coaster. So I think Galactica at Alton Towers, but you're being launched. Wow, look at it, it goes above me. It's just so much to take in. And uh, obviously hanging back as he always does, <laughs> taking it all in. Wow. I don't think my jaw has closed <laughs> since we entered the park. That, this is un unbelievable. We're going to finally find out what the station looks yeah. like. Yeah. We've never seen what it looks yeah. like on images. Because this ride is so shrouded in secrecy. There's parts that we don't even know. And I've watched so many videos about the ride and area. Look at the size of this. And yeah, I still don't know some things that happen. But look at it. Is it like, that's crazy. Right, should we head on to fly? Yeah, let's yeah, do it, man. If I a 40-minute queue. Don't mind if I do. Let's go. We've been queuing for around an hour now, so longer than the advertised waiting time was. But if I had to be stuck in a queue line, I couldn't think of any ride in the world that I'd choose over this. Like, honestly, the queue itself is insane. Like, we've queued right around this entire area and we've gradually made our way down to this point. What are you boys saying? It's, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, it's not theming like this anywhere in the world. Said earlier about, uh, I've been disimpressed by theming since Pandora. Skyline. <laughs> since Pandora. Uh, no, like it's it's that level. Like it's it's above and beyond any expectation I had. Like the detail is stupid. It's beautiful. The lighting, oh, amazing. Insane. Everywhere is just I'm incredible. Saying, nowhere themes roller coasters like this. Like there is name one. Like it's hard to name them. Big Thunder Mountain. Big <laughs> That's um, about it. But yeah, as I said earlier, this ride is still shrouded in secrecy. So once we go down these stairs, 
I think we're gonna go into like the indoor section with the station and stuff. And you have to put your bags and cameras in a locker. So I don't know what to expect, but uh, I'll let you guys know what I thought of this, this incredible ride um, once I've been on it. But yeah, very, very excited for this one. I've just come off of Fly. Wow! That is one of the best ride experiences of my life. What an incredible roller coaster that was. Myself and Kieran had a back row there. When we were going insane. There's so many things that were sick. Like before the ride started, the ride, it went on forever as well. Boys, <laughs> we I'm blown away. I'm blown away. Everything about that generally looks like he's gonna cry. Um, oh God, I could have tears. We were getting airtime on a flying coaster. No, nothing I say will equate to what I've just experienced. There's no point in me saying, Oh, this is sick. This is a number one. Like, that was out of this world. The station what, was, what was sick. That? You come around the corner and then we got like a free ride show and then you like twist. Oh bro, before the ride started I was already like certified this is sick. Fun. As you're saying this, there's just smoke. Like look at this that's, area. That's, <laughs> this area. I think coaster wise, Taran is a better oh, yeah. oh, coaster. Yeah. Taran's but a this is my experience. favorite ride in the park. Yeah, I think we weren't expecting it, that's why. Yeah. Like, we had no idea what was down there or anywhere. And even when you end the ride, everyone was cheering. Yeah, was literally great. big claps as we went into it the station. Long. It had airtime, it had incredible G. Like any force you've ever felt on a coaster is this yeah. very good. Like a very good version so, of it on here. I think it's more intense than Tarot. It was really that intense. Was we were at the back. For those of you that watch this channel, I imagine a lot of you have been on the likes of Galactica or Alton Towers. So on that ride, you sit on the station and then it tilts back. Whereas on this, you kind of sit in like a normal seat, on like on the side, and it kind of goes into the flying position as part of the ride. As you're about to launch. As you launch. Down. Straight oh, down that track, up to the top of the area. Uh, the leg things are a lot easier to get in. Oh, it's I, such a comfy nicer, ride. Yeah, a lot uh, I'm lost for words. I, I think prime. I really want to do that again. Yeah, absolutely. We need to get on that again because that was incredible. I don't think any of us, we were expecting good things, but it has blown all of us away. Just a little pick up. Yeah, for those of you that know me and watch this channel, I've always said Pandora at Disney's Animal Kingdom is my favorite theme park area in the world. But I think it could have been topped. And just standing here, taking it all in, listening to the audio, seeing the effects, I think this could have topped Pandora as my favorite theme park area. It is incredible here. All four of us are just stood here. Taking it in. I'm generally gobsmacked. It's like they've taken Discovery Land at Disneyland Paris and then just blown it out of the ball. Sorry, actually. <laughs> Pete's Pandora for me. <laughs> I said in the queue, this is my favourite like themed area that I've seen in like days. I really want to stay in there. Yeah, this this hotel up here looks the incredible. It's up there, looks so sick. I'm, I'm in love with this area. It's genuinely one of the best coaster experiences I've ever had in my entire life. Fantastic. I, unreal. <laughs> I told myself I wouldn't scream again because my voice is getting... <laughs> and me and Deves were going ballistic the um, entire way. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen all of us as gobsmacked as I did getting off of that. Absolutely phenomenal.
So we just had a little bit of lunch and we're now heading onto our next ride here at Fantasialand Winders, um, which is two spinning coasters. So you can either do fear or force. I'm not too sure which one we're gonna do or even if you get a choice anymore. Um, but yeah, we're heading into the queue line now. Do you know a lot about these now? Nothing it's at all. Dark, if you hear me, nothing at all, apart from the fact that they're spinning coasters. Okay. Um, and they're indoors, which will be fun. It's going to be good. It's so sick. <laughs> but yeah, there's obviously some nice hidden elements uh, on these rides. So. Oh, boys, we're on very good. soon. Oh, and the station is literally there. So we just had our ride on Winger's Fear. Oh my god, that was funny listening to Arch's first reaction to that ride. Um, little spoiler here, if you haven't done it, I would recommend just viewing the video temporarily. But uh, for those of you that have been on it, you'll know that there's <laughs> certain parts of that ride that are mad. Like, there's a tilt track, um, a lift, and a bounce lift track. I think all three of them caught him off guard, as, as they would. The lift, I was like, I knew something was happening because there was no track in front yeah. of me. I was like, where, where are we going? Um, but basically, that bounce thing yeah. was, was... That wasn't a roller coaster, that was a fun house. That was like a... Wow, that was sick! It was when you just tilt to the side and it's like, we shouldn't be doing this. No, no, it felt, so it felt like just too far. Like, you know, when it just gets a little bit too scary. But honestly, oh my god! That was so much fun. Very fun. So much fun. It's a great little ride. Um, it kind of takes you above the whole all of Woo's Town. We are now making our way onto Mystery Castle, the park's um, drop tower. We just stopped off on a Colorado adventure and boy oh boy was that an experience. Um, I think I have brain damage, I don't even remember doing it bro. <laughs> we got a front row and we kind of got pushed over all the hills but it was a bit rickety. On Colorado adventure there was a bar in front of me with tape, duct tape around it and loads of mesh and stuff. That's because I took a blow to the head. <laughs> he literally like bit yeah, out of He headbutted the Colorado Adventure train. I headbutted it back. <laughs> 10 <laughs> ounce gloves, guaranteed knockout. But yeah, we're now heading on the wonderful Mystery Castle. Now, our good friend Arch Nemesis, he isn't the best fan of drop towers uh, as it is. This one is obviously a very tall one. <laughs> Did you just trip? No. <laughs> you just tripped! <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see that? He stacked it! I, I really hope I got that on camera! As I said, this is a tall drop tower at the best of times, but um, there's a few surprises um, in here to say the least, so uh, it'll be good to see what you think afterwards. There's loads of like, really cute dogs in the park. <laughs> I want to go and chill with them, <laughs> I don't fancy them. <laughs> Just thinking about the dogs, Have right? Us, I'm a little bit worried. So we have just come off of Mystery Castle. Oh my god, even I forgot how insane that ride is. And of course that was Lem's first time. I, I, I think his heart stopped. Uh, I've got to give it credit where credit's due. I think that was a fantastic platform. But I was like, yes, wicked, it's a shock tower. I had no idea. I was like, we launched up and I was like, Ray, let's go! And then we got down, it was done. I was like, I finished they it. They baited us, they baited us hard. It. And then we launched even faster. Boom. But like, you know, when you, your, your cheeks start to melt, it was that sort of oh speed. Oh my god. And then I thought, oh, it's brilliant, we'll just come back up. No. Bouncy, so they, bouncy. They like keep you at the top. So it's just it's just as oh, bad as a normal drop dear. tower, so I hated it, but I also adored it. The lighting oh, sequence in there is so good. good. Oh, that was so good. That was better than I remember. It's oh, such a good ride. The launch up literally wasn't even going to take yeah. out of the building. <laughs> and the drop they were really forceful, really pushed you down. I had a great trip to Mystery Castle. <laughs> It was beautiful, lad. It was beautiful. I can't describe how cool it is when you're over top and you just see all the other gondolas and like the theming piece of the top. Wow. Yeah, that surprised even me getting back on there. Look at how high we were. 
It's a tall ride and you literally launch all the way up. One of the best rides here and one of the best flat rides in the world to be honest. I, I love it. And I'm not normally a fan of drop towers, but wow, fantastic. So we've just had a ride on a black mamba. Wow, what an incredible ride. I feel like I'm saying that a lot today, but I forgot how, just how good that was. It's so intense. It would probably help by the fact we were on the back row, but I'd 100% say that is my favorite inverted coaster. Like, surely you don't still prefer Nemesis. Yeah. Right, it? Oh, sweet, thank God. I, it, I still love Nemesis, yeah, but like, yeah. that is a little whippersnapper. It's, that it's is so good. so intense, and I was genuinely scared for my limbs on that. Like, you get so close to the rock. Something about that last section. Really good though, wasn't it? I blacked out. I blacked out, <laughs> mate. I'm trying to decide whether that or Catton is like the best one I've done, but they're both like incredible. For me, it's still one two. Still one two. See, I haven't done one two, so for me, this is the best invert um, that I've ever done. It's just so intense, and the near misses are insane. And it's a really cool theme, so you can't go wrong. <laughs> We're now heading for a ride on the beautiful Chia Pass, the log flume here at the park. And I hate to say it again, but it is one of the best log flumes I've ever done. It's really good, isn't it? It's a beautiful ride, mate. It's storytelling, <laughs> inspirational. So yeah, you've obviously got a massive drop that's just hidden around that corner. And it's a long old ride, but yeah, we're gonna head on to Chia Pass. It is a very hot day today, so it's gonna be nice to cool off a bit. Yeah, nice to have a nice refreshing drink. We've got water, he's got Oh, water. Uh, no, no, no. I forgot that we We're going backwards. backwards. So we've just had a very wet ride on our cheer pass there. Being from England, we don't often do water rides, so uh, that's a bit of a shock to the system, wasn't it, boys? <laughs> it's definitely a soaker. <laughs> but uh, no, so it's a very fun ride. You've got backwards drops, you've got a massive drop with an airtime hill. Disco section. Disco section, Loved we that love that. Bit. It's Loved cheered that. and that sang great. along. Honestly, um, that was a great ride. But uh, it's definitely one of the most unique vlog flumes in the world, and we couldn't resist a ride. It's nice weather today. How hot is it, Dave? It's 27 degrees <laughs> according to Instagram. We thought we'd jump on uh, a ride on Tarin to uh, dry off a little bit. So, Savatice is now a queue, so not the best, but oh well, it's one of the best rides in the world, so yeah. it'll be rude not to. So we just got a back row ride on the Taran and that is just, it was locked in before they was my number one, but that is just padlocked, sellotaped, everything. The fact that that is <laughs> number one ride. Wow. It, it throws you around at the back there, but as Kieran said, it's blurry smooth. It's, the it's light, pure, intense, intense so airtime. And that second launch just whips you back. Look at it, what a beauty. So this is the first launch down here. And then for the second one, you come down into the pit and you race up through. Wow. That was like a different ride from what we did earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, like, the rush is fantastic and it's great. Like the first half is smooth and it's steady and you get to see everything. And then as soon as you get down into this pit and feel that. Yeah absolute power that kick it's a real kick down there it's fantastic it's just relentless from start to finish absolutely crazy ride and it's long look how much track there is just covering this entire area every yeah. ride here is so long it's long so it comfortably sits as my number one poster we're gonna head over to fly now because although the park is advertised to close at seven um, the queue lines actually close at six, unlike in the UK where they close at the end of the day. It closes an hour earlier here. So we've got about 20 minutes or so to make our way over to fly and we're gonna queue up for that for our last ride of the day. 
Oh, I'm, I'm scobsmacked. That ride gets better and better every ride. Well and true, lost my We said we'd stop oh, screaming on these rides, but... No, it's impossible. <laughs> I think it's the fact, it's been so long since we've been on rides, and the rides we have been on, we've done so many times, like all the UK stuff, so getting out here, it's just nice. I can't help but scream on these rides. But yeah, let's make our way over to Fly. Come on, mate, how you yeah, doing? Boy, you having boy. a good time? Where are you from? England. England? Yeah, oh, nice, nice. Oh, I need to go to Ekatoklo. Peace out. Have a good day, mate. How long was he there for? The subtitles have been said by the SLK version. Bro, uh, he just said. What, what, what did he say? You've got a lot of it in these European parks. Not a clue what he said, but. Why <laughs> SLK? <laughs> This area, I literally just have the biggest smile on my face because you are just so fully immersed. And I genuinely only think I've ever really had that with Pandora and Animal Kingdom. It's just so immersive. Like, we've just been to the toilets, and even that hand dryers are themed. Like, the level of detail here is insane. I couldn't think of a better ride to end our day on. I think this area at night would be so, so sick. I see lights everywhere. It is my favourite theme park area. Yeah, join yeah, the club, mate. Sleep. Join the club. It's, it's sick. <laughs> I haven't even gone to the restaurant here, but you know, one day. Wait, I'm, oh, it's like basically we do this thing where we do the last leave the call. I'm the last to leave rock, bro. Well done. <laughs> yeah, well done. No, 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 Jack Silk's so no. So we just had one last ride of the day there on the beautiful fly. That time we sat on the front half of the train. And I think I actually preferred it because rather than kind of being pulled over things, the back of the train pushed the front over. Um, so it, it felt a bit more intense, a bit faster. And you got a little bit more airtime. But yeah, that brings us to the end of our day here at Fantasia Land. What's everyone's highlights been? My highlight has been, oh, it's really tough because um, and it's a hot take as well. Just like the two best coasters in here, the two just as equal as good coasters, in my personal opinion, Taron and Fly. Like the theming in there is insane. There's not one speck of, there's not one area in there which is just like dull. It's all just so much to look at. It's beautiful. Oh, I thoroughly yes. enjoyed my day. It was peng. Kieran. For me, I think Fly is the highlight of the day because I've been saying the park, you know, that was saying last time we came, it didn't feel totally complete. Yeah. Like it needed one more thing and it's now got that thing and I now. Yeah, this is the best day I've had. It was great. It's a very complete park now. We've made the most of it. Yeah, it was great. We've, we've gotten everything we really wanted to. Dave's? Sad to be leaving. <laughs> he oh, he looks very sad. I, I just think it's beautiful. Like, everything about <laughs> it is a complete package now, like Kieran said. It was like a missing piece to the puzzle. That's oh, fantastic. Wow. Crazy bats, that's another piece that filled in the puzzle. Yeah. Crazy bats, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Really you enjoyed that. The, place. Really did. the crazy bats, you know, they're the frames. So. Yeah, for me, is Fly stole the show, really. Like, it was incredible, and it was great to get back on Taran and Mystery Castle as well. What a ride. But yeah, thank you all very much for watching. We're off to another Fox. theme park tomorrow. Where are we going? Yeah. In Warner Three, Brothers two. Movie oh. Park. Oh. Oh. Three, two, one. Warner Brothers Movie Park, Germany. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to be getting on their brand new ride tomorrow. So looking forward to that. So uh, keep an eye out for that on the channel. And otherwise, uh, thank you all very much for watching. My name is Jack Silkstone. Goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs>